August 29th, 1997, Skynet, a computer system built to protect us, became self-aware. It viewed humanity as a threat to its existence and decided to act. Judgment Day, as we eventually called it, marked the beginning of the war against the machines. Skynet attacks happened almost daily, but the attack that happened on that day was like nothing we'd seen before. Where are the others? Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. No! This is private, Jacob. As soon as you get down the street, turn right and run as fast as you can. Now go right. I don't want to go with no, you. No, you don't, but we can't stay here. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're from the Resistance. See, Patrick? He's going to help us. No, they're going to get us. Please, you need to help me. My little brother, he just won't listen. I'm not going. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. I know you're scared, but staying here is not an option. I'll protect you and your sister, okay? Uh, okay. Thank you. I'm Jennifer, by the way. I've heard there's an evacuation point near here. Yeah, I know. My people are organizing it. We're heading there right now. I'll take us there. Come on, let's go. Where's the rest of the Resistance? I don't know. I came here looking for them myself. So, it's just you then? This way! Sadine was safe. It was, until all the soldiers were pulled out from the area. Through here! Terminators! Get down! Get down! What's going on? Shh. Aaron said these attacks happen more often as the line gets closer. This Aaron, has she seen the Annihilation Line? Seen it? She's been on the other side of it. We're here. How gracious of you to finally join us. Where's your father? Ah, no! Just let me think. Oh, you're from the Resistance. Thank you for making sure that Jennifer and Patrick got here safe. Are you the guy I spoke to on the radio? 
Nah, I, I don't think so. I haven't been able to reach anybody for a while now, but listen, I know that Colin wants us to go, but I don't know how I feel about leaving anyone behind. Jennifer just got here, and you said yourself that you heard someone on the radio. There could be other people out there. Don't you think somebody should go and look for them? I mean, you're from the Resistance. It's your call. I'll search for other survivors. Good, I'll get the bus ready. Before you go, talk to Erin. She might be able to get you a med kit. Oh, oh, and take this. You'll probably need it. Ryan told me that you might have a med kit for me. Did he now? So I guess he's the one who rations out our supplies. If you really need it, you can have it. But our supplies are scarce, and I'd rather keep it for a real emergency. So you tell me, do you really need it or not? If I'm going out there again, I might need it. Well, you'd better come back with at least a missing limb so that I don't feel that med kit went to waste. Chasing ghosts? That's what we do now? Fucking hero. there? Is anyone here? Nothing.
Anyone in here? Who's there? I've come to get you. There's an evacuation point not far from here. You need to get there, fast. No, I'm not leaving. Have you seen what's out there? That... that giant spider, it's going to get us. You have to destroy it. I already took care of it. It's safe now. Oh, thank God. Thank you. I don't see anyone else. I'm heading your way. Reminds me of a good old duck hunt in the swamp. I'm out of ammo! Grab this! There's more of them coming. Jennifer, what's the holdup? Tin cans coming! Jennifer! Get in! Go, go, go! Hold on, we're getting out of here! Mark's about to pass out. We need to stop soon. Okay, we'll do that. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Ryan. That over there is Erin. She's a doctor of the group. Jennifer's a scavenger, and Colin, well, you can ask him yourself what he thinks he does. I'm Jacob. I'm a private from the Resistance. Pacific Division. Pacific? You're a long way from home. What you doing down here? My entire division was wiped out. I'm trying to get in touch with the South Division. I've got a message for Commander Baron. So it's true? The Annihilation Line's coming? It wasn't the Annihilation Line. It was something else. Then what was it? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. God damn it! That's as far as this piece of shit will go. Let's get off the road. Pull up over there. We got some time on them, so let's not lose our heads. I'll be on the fucking lookout for tin cans. Aaron, you do what you think is best for Mark. I'll see what I can do about the bus. Jacob, it might take a while, so can you look inside and see if it's safe to stay? Sure. Jennifer, would you help me? Sure. patient with you for the sake of this group. But you had one job today and you dropped the fucking ball. I don't have to listen to this shit. 
Sure, walk away, asshole. Hoo-wee! All this for us? Oh, did I startle you? What do you want? I'm so glad you asked. Since we're stuck here, I figured I'll go see if anything's creeping around the corner. I hear that you're looking for the Resistance, and where I'm heading, they used to have an outpost. I wouldn't mind backup while I'm out there. So what do you say? Buddies? Talk to Ryan and see if he needs anything. I'm moving out now. Let's meet at the bridge. And don't make me wait, will you? This might come in handy. Pipe bomb. This will do some damage. Hey, thanks for earlier. If it wasn't for you, I probably would have started completely freaking out. And that wouldn't have done anyone any good. Patrick's been through a lot, you know? I guess we all have. I just wish I could find something that would take his mind off all this. At least for a moment. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What about your father? What happened to him? He protected us from a tin can. We were able to sneak out, but he had no chance. When I looked back, he was lying there, dead on the floor. Look, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I'm ready for this. Were there any resistance in Pasadena? They were stationed just outside of town since I can remember. But they moved not that long ago. We tried to convince ourselves that maybe we were safe so they didn't need to be there anymore. But apparently, we were wrong. Seems the repair might take a couple days. How's it looking inside? There's a lot of supplies there. Looks like someone left them for us. Nah, seems too much of a convenience. Better keep your eyes open. But speaking of supplies, we don't have much, but we keep everything useful inside this crate. You feel free to look through and pick up what you need. Listen, I know that finding the resistance is your number one priority, but if you stumble upon a set of tools while you're out there, please bring them to me, okay? I must have lost mine during the escape. Good luck out there. Don't you think I know that? The way you're shooting, I thought you'd need all the advice you could get. I can see a crack in that warehouse wall from here. Use explosives to get yourself inside. Or find some other way, I don't care.
South Division has definitely been here. What do we have here? An attack order signed by Commander Baron. And it's only from a couple of days ago. Are you there? Yeah? Did you find anyone? Not yet. I'm going to the second spot. Maybe they're there. Whatever.
fuckheads. I saw some movement in the factory. Resistance? Nah, it looked like a scavenger. We aren't too far from our new hideout. Maybe it's the guy who lives there. You know what? I think I'll introduce myself. The least I can do for leaving us all those resources? Shit. I might even give him a thank you card. <laughs> you keep looking. Let's see. Hmm. Looks like they were keeping an eye on an old university hospital not far from here. Oh, they must have moved on to that hospital. All right, I've got everything. What's the status on that factory? Colin? Can you hear me? Colin?
Where are you? Can you hear me? Vlad! I'm following that guy. Something's not right about him. to me, call it! Jacob Rivers, marked for termination. Are you all right, Jacob? Jacob! Hours later, they found me lying in front of her hideout. I made it out alive, but not all of us did. Colin's dead, and the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe, so we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. But nothing happened. Jacob? Are you awake? How long have you been sitting there? Not that long. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. Oh, and Ryan wanted to talk to you. Heat from a plasma rifle cauterized the wound. That's why he's not bleeding. But... Morning. Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. When I saw that it was a single bullet, I wasn't sure if he was being helpful or if it was a warning. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. How do you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? That I care? Right now I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me? How did you know about the Annihilation Mine? I heard the rumors, like everyone else. And then, like everyone else, I decided to ignore them. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. 
When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us, but they decided to keep me alive. So, that's how I ended up in a camp. Maybe they thought it would be worth having a doctor in there. I don't know. Who else was in that camp with you? Besides me, the machines only took the young and the strong. There were up to ten people squashed together inside magnetic cages like animals. I'll always remember their names and faces. No matter how much time goes by, you're actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like... like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? Arr! Take that, you tin cans! You don't stand a chance! Arr! You wanted to talk to me? Good to see you finally turned the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? How's that bus coming along? I'll make a run again, don't worry about it. Besides a couple of rusty rotors, it's got a whole lot of character. The question is, where do we go from here? Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right, I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be, however, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker, hitting on this lady guard, or people covered in mud, but well, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that band. You have a brother. I, I did. Older brother. Well, he was a ladies' man. We didn't have tickets to the concert, but he knew how to charm a lady. She let us in. Well, him. I tagged along like I always did. Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a bit of a view of the stage, you know. So, as we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. What was it? Took me a while to understand what I was looking at. An atomic mushroom cloud wasn't something we were ever supposed to see. With my bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was a uh, people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. It finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Oh. Oh. What am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh. <laughs> God, I remember the name of that band now. It was Captured by Robots. It's bad enough with those creepy noises. What noises? Every once in a while, there's this unbearable scream coming from that hospital. We need to see what's going on. Let's move. Let me. Picking locks is kind of my thing. Voila. Oh, jeez. Looks like a silverfish got him. They're every scavenger's nightmare. Ooh, look. This poor guy is still holding a sound decoy. 
Sound decoy? You resistance guys just shoot at everything that moves, don't you? Silverfish are sensitive to noise, so before it pops up from the ground and starts chasing, you throw a sound decoy. It'll draw any nearby silverfish away. I guess you can take it. He won't be needing it anyway. Did you hear that? That's the sound I was talking about. I don't think you should go any further. And what about you? I have to go. That could be the resistance. I understand. I, uh, feel stupid asking you this, but Aaron wanted me to find some antibiotics for Mark. <sighs> I know I'm not making it easy on you, but if you're in there and you find some, she... We would really appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. And remember that your gun won't do you any good against Terminators. So when you see one, do what I do. Sneak past them. I'll be waiting for you at the hideout. Take care. Right now, you need to start answering some questions. There will be a time for that, but right now, you need to help the people inside. This is calling. This is it.
wonder if I could control those turrets with the hacking device. from the resistance. The others have to be here too. Resistance. The others have to be here too.
from the resistance. The others have to be here too. Hear that? So someone's coming. He's one of us. Private Jacob Rivers, Pacific Division. Pacific? What the hell happened up there? The whole division went silent. It was wiped out. I'm the only one who survived, and I need to meet with Commander Baron. All right, I'll make sure you get to do that. But first, get us out of here. Follow that staircase. It'll lead you to the main generator. Overload it, and turn off the laser grid. Understood. And Rivers, destroying that generator will make a lot of noise. So in case we get separated, where are you stationed? Just south from here. Okay, we'll find you. Baron will want to meet you. Now go, and watch out for those medals.
I'm on my way out. Good job. I can see the soldiers leaving. But don't think it's done. Skynet's sending reinforcements.
Oh, thank God, you're finally here. How did it go? Did you find the soldiers? I did. I helped them escape from that hospital. You don't give up on your people, do you? I like that. So what now? They're supposed to come for me soon. Great. That means that you're going home? No more scavengers constantly nagging you to do things for them? I bet you like the sound of that. Oh, Erin's still up too. Go talk to her. She won't admit it, but she was just as worried as I was. Do you need help with anything? <laughs> Is that your best pickup line? Sorry, that was a bad joke. I, I tend to do that when I'm stressed. I think I got it from my dad. Better that than his mustache, right? Oh, I'm sorry, don't mind me. Seems you were very close. As close as could be. He taught me everything I know. Sometimes without me even knowing. This one time, when I was little, he wanted to make a huge sign that said, Welcome, on the side of our house in Pasadena. So he said, I bet you can't spell that. <laughs> and of course I had to prove him wrong. Believe me, now I know how stupid that was. Not at all. That was very clever. Yeah. He was always full of bright ideas. Thanks for trying to make me feel better. After Judgment Day, my dad turned our house into a safe haven. A home for everyone who'd lost theirs. We were like a family with an endless supply of uncles and aunts. I guess my father wanted to help with the war. We never really used guns. So the only thing we could do was to help others in need. Seems like he helped a lot of people. He did. Right till the very end. Anyway, it was actually really cool. Everybody loved him, and he loved having them around. I think it's because he always had a brand new audience to listen to his bad jokes. He had this really terrible one. He'd walk into the room and ask if anyone had seen his remote because his team was playing. <laughs> I always laughed at it. I'll never understand why. Was he a sports fan? I don't think so. He had a jersey that he wouldn't let anyone touch. But I don't think it was a token of his love of sports. More like a reminder of simpler times. <laughs> Look at me yapping. I'm sorry, you probably have enough on your plate. Anyway, thanks. It's really nice to have someone to talk to. No need to worry. I'm fine. <laughs> Who said I was worried? I've been thinking a lot about it. And if I can, I've decided to join the Resistance. I'll do more good there than here. I'm glad to hear that. I just hope you're better supplied over there than we are. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you found those antibiotics Jennifer went looking for? No, I didn't. If Mark's condition doesn't get better soon, I don't know what else we can do for him. Good luck out there. Private Rivers. Yes, sir. I've got a message from South Division's Field Commander Baron. She's agreed to meet with you. She set up a rendezvous point at the unfinished metro station. You'll need to enter the canal system under the bridge. The meeting's supposed to take place tomorrow, so I suggest moving out soon. Understood. And... Rivers. Because of what you did for our guys at that hospital, I'll give you a heads up about Commander Baron. 
don't expect a warm welcome. Looks like you're leaving us soon. Aaron wants to join me. What about you? What do you think about enlisting? Me? <laughs> no. I still have hope I'll get that bus running again. Also, I don't like the attention Skynet's given you guys. I'd rather stay as far from the line of fire as possible. Patrick, get back here! You better go see what's going on. Is everything all right? Patrick's decided that he wants to be a scavenger. And now he won't come out, even though I'm worried sick he'll get stuck. Get back here right now, Patrick! But there's lots of cool stuff in here. You told me it's our job to find stuff for the group. Your sister is right. Get back here. It's too dangerous. Oh, all right, all right. I'm coming out. What was that all about just now? I've got a meeting with Commander Baron. I'm leaving soon. Okay. I'm going with you. And don't even try to stop me. Are you sure? What's the matter? Don't they let you boys bring dates? <sighs> Sorry. I... Probably shouldn't zone out like that with a gun in my hands, huh? Am I making you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. I guess you should be. I don't have any formal training like you. I never even held a gun until... recently. Can I be honest with you? Sure. There's a reason I decided to come here with you. I want to meet Commander Baron myself. They're here. When I heard that Private Rivers of the non-existent Pacific Division wants, no, needs to have a meeting with me, I thought, oh, what a lucky girl I am. But then I started thinking, who is Private Rivers? And why should I treat him as anything other than the deserter he is? So right now I'm hoping you give me a good reason why I shouldn't just skip the court-martial and execute you where you stand. This is bullshit. And who do we have here? A brave scavenger? Rivers, do you always bring unauthorized civilians to fight your battles for you? We would have got to you sooner if you hadn't pulled out all your troops from Pasadena. People died there because of you! And what did you do about it? Did you pick up a gun and fight back? Or did you run like you sewer rats always do? Jennifer's right. There's no need for any of that. Yeah. Today is all about private rivers. So what can you tell me that I don't know already? A few weeks ago, the outpost I was stationed at was ambushed by a Terminator, I think. It was half man, half machine. The entire Pacific Division was wiped out by a single enemy. Half man, half machine? What are you talking about? How did your men let an enemy get that close to you? We didn't know it was a machine. It could walk, talk, bleed, sweat. There was no way to distinguish it as an enemy. It infiltrated us perfectly. This... Infiltrator... Is it still alive? I I'm not sure. Okay, for now keep everything to yourself. I don't want any rumors. Especially since you only think you saw something. Skynet's coming! We're not done here yet, Rivers. Take this plasma! You're a resistance soldier. Time to act like one. To your positions! Drones! Up there! Fire at will! Don't be shy, Rivers! This is a great time to impress me! I think I got one! More will come! We need to move! Get that door open! What the fuck? Fall back! Fall back! Eyes on that door! Terminators! Go clear! 
here! Oh, no, it's not. Ariel, go, go, go! More medals! Up there! On that balcony! Neutralized! Shoot those gas canisters! More drones! You with that AK! Take care of them! On it! Through that balcony! I'm all out of ammo! Well, you're a scavenger, aren't you? Find some! Let's go! You can be sure there's gonna be more! Armored spider ahead! Don't let it get near you! More Terminators! How many? I count three! One less! More incoming! Keep your position! Almost there! Got grenades? Fucking throw them! I'm getting us out of this! This was an ambush! They knew we were coming! How did they know? With the Annihilation Line getting closer, they must have eavesdropped on our conversation. We're on their radar now. God damn it! They were waiting for us! We're surrounded! Take positions! 
I got this! Leaving already? There's too many of them! Hold it! Through here! Come on! Follow her! Watch out! Take cover! No! We need to help him! He's dead. You want to help someone? Help yourself and take his rifle. More of them up here! Stay low! Don't stop shooting! Inside! Get inside! We used to have an outpost here, but we were spread out too thin and had to pull everyone back. When the Annihilation Line hit us, we couldn't hold our positions. We would be dead if we stayed. Is that what happened in Pasadena? Exactly. There's a shortcut that'll get us out of here. We just have to make our way to that industrial building. As soon as that aerial moves, we run! It's clear! Go! We're getting close! God, you're okay! Save that for later. We're not safe yet. We need to get the hell out of here. Where to? The shelter!
I'm, uh... I'm sorry about before. And I'm sorry about your soldiers. No need for that. You'll have a hard time getting up every morning if you dwell on that too much. Machines don't do that. And if we want to destroy them, neither can we. Rivers, since Pacific Division no longer exists, you will now answer to me. That makes you a part of Techcom. Congratulations. No more sitting around waiting for Skynet to come to you. Over here we go out there and meet the enemy face on. This is it. Resistance Shelter, South Division. Baron, DN-38217. Commander. There with me. Where are the others? Where's my husband? They're dead. Over here's our quartermaster. If you need anything beyond the standard issue equipment, work it out with him. And here's Alvin, residing chief Egghead. Uh, I prefer laboratory director. Like I said, Egghead. He supplies all techcom units with weapon modifications. Everything looks well organized. It is. Everyone pulls their weight here. If someone doesn't, we become weak. And you can probably imagine where I stand on being weak. I'll get right to it. There's a reason I decided to meet you. We intercepted some interesting data. It turns out you're part of a prestigious group. A group of people that Skynet marked for termination. See, John Connor, the leader of the Resistance, is number one on that list. Then, there's me. I know, I'm flattered. Every day, we lead, we fight, and we plan on how to destroy Skynet's central core. So I know exactly why we're on that fucking list. But why would Private Rivers be number three? That infiltrator said something about me being marked for termination. Huh. Interesting. I'll have to have a word with Connor about that. And that brings me to my second point, your first assignment. After the Annihilation Line got to Pasadena, Skynet started building installations there. I want you to go there and collect some intel, so we know what we're up against. Sounds dangerous. It will be. Check with Alvin before you go, he'll have something for you. Remember, you might be valuable to Skynet, but the way I see it, you're still a private. Dismissed. And Rivers! Civilians don't need to know about what happened out there. You're going back to Pasadena? Can't imagine what it's like there now. <clears throat> hey, it's a Pacific Division uniform. Eh, he's a long way from home. I hear you have something for me. I do. Commander Baron wanted me to show you how to customize your weapons. Something I've been working on for some time now. You see, your standard phased plasma is in a 40 watt range. However, you can upgrade its damage, shooting rate, or stability using decoded chips. The same ones you've been collecting from fallen terminators. You can do the upgrades yourself. When you're done, go to the Quartermaster. I believe he has something for you as well. Just try it. I don't have all day. I'm Private Rivers. You got something for me? I've been told you're using old goggles from the Pacific Division. Those aren't even standard issue anymore. Commander Baron asked me to hook you up with the latest version. These babies come equipped with a high-quality camera. 
what do I do with them? The idea is that when you reach Pasadena, you'll take pictures of Skynet's offensive installations. When you find them, put the goggles on, then aim and shoot. The pictures will be automatically sent to a military satellite that we hijacked from Skynet. They'll give us the necessary intel to prepare for when the Annihilation Line comes. That's it? That's it. We have a place ready for you here when you come back. Before you leave, take a look and see if there's anything else you need. I can get my hands on almost anything, but I don't normally hand out freebies. That's it, then. You're leaving us and going back to Pasadena. Not yet. I need to collect the rest of my stuff from our hideout. Fine by me. Let's go. Please, you need to tell me what happened there. Where's my husband? I'm sorry, I can't talk about that. Please! Jesus, Jacob! We were ambushed near the unfinished metro station, and he didn't stand a chance. I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh my god. Thank you for telling me this. Thank you for caring. I don't care what Baron says. This woman deserves to hear the truth. Not knowing would destroy her. Aaron would kill to know what happened to her husband. Patrick! Is everything okay? It's Mark. He's dead. Oh, I'm so sorry, kiddo. How are you? Fine. I heard about Mark. What happened? He didn't make it. There was nothing we could have done for him. So, what's new with you? I've been ordered to go to Pasadena to collect some intel. Is there anything you need from there? Right now, I don't need anything. But there's something you might be interested in. When we were running away the other day, Colin was supposed to bring something. Boxes of adrenaline, painkillers, and who knows what else. Since he didn't bring anything with him, I'd imagine everything's still there. Those stimulants might be useful to you. When used in small doses, they can improve focus and alertness. If I were you, I'd take a look. You didn't change your mind about joining the Resistance? No. I'm packed and ready to go. You're the one that kept saying that we're going when in fact we're not. Oh, you really pissed me off. I must say. About that camp. What do you want to know? How did the machines communicate with you? There was this one machine. We called it Nurse Ratchet. It was designed to look almost friendly. It wore an awful, smiling, rubber human face. At the end of every week, it took the weakest of us for experimentation. My cellmate. Karen was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder, so I had to plan an escape. What was your plan? I figured our best chance of getting out was with the bodies. That way, hypothermia was the only thing we had to worry about. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Did they go after you? We heard an alarm, but we were already far away. They hunted us at first, but they had more important things to do than running after two nobodies with a baby. We ran to protect her, but deep down we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. I'll be on my way. <sighs> Talk to Ryan. He wanted to give you something.
And I see you got that bus running again. Lucky for us, I did. There haven't been any good vibes here since Mark died. Everyone's been itching to get out of here, leave this place behind them. Anyhow, I got something for you. It's called a termination knife. It's supposed to shut down a terminator with a single stab, so if you're sneaking and you want to take them down silently, well, that's your go-to weapon. I guess you could say it terminates terminators. Wow, that was almost as bad as Jan. Where did you get that? A group of travelers came by earlier. We traded, talked for a while. Actually, they said something that got my attention. Something about meeting a guy out there who kept asking about Jacob Rivers. They said he didn't seem right. You don't think it's that thing that you told us about before, do you? Sorry. I probably should have said something right away. What's on your mind? Well, you really got me thinking about old Tucker again. In times like these, I wouldn't mind having him around. He always know what to do. He was the only one who didn't lose his mind after Judgment Day. How did you handle it? I didn't. I couldn't understand it. Nowadays, children are born with the idea of death, but back then, uh, I lived without a clue. I felt sick when I saw blood on TV. Tucker said, we need to be calm right now. I listened to him. We all did, survivors from the concert. Did you drive someplace safe? It was my first call. Just drive. Gave it a shot. We kept running into these sandstorms. Every car fucked up after a couple of miles. Turned out that atomic dust ain't so great with engines. Finally, we found a couple houses, but the people there were as confused as we were. All the communication went to shit. Tucker managed to find some batteries, and uh, we sat in front of our boombox. They started to list cities to avoid. Cities that were hit by the nuclear bombs. How many cities were hit? I don't know exactly how many, but it took them a couple of minutes just to go through the A's. We looked at each other crying. We just wanted to go home and be with family, but Tucker said that for now, the safest place there is is right where we were. So we decided to stay and start a camp. You're going to Pasadena? Yep, I am. I have a mission for you, a secret mission, super important. Probably the most important of them all. What is it? Could you bring me my chalk? Chalk? Yeah, it's at my house. The one with the beware sign on the side. Could you bring it to me? I mean, if you could. I did bring you that bullet one time. I'll see what I can do. Cool. Rivers. I am. Good. I marked vantage points on your map. Use them to take pictures of the Skynet installations. And although this is a recon mission, you have clearance to engage at will. Over and out.
Mm-hmm. 
Sending you the first set of pictures. That's exactly what we need. Move to the second point. Thank <laughs> you. 